This is pine wood that is used for packaging. They are usually walk but can withstand abuse and cheap too. I resaw them into one and a half inches strips. This will form the sides of the board. To attach them, I am using pocket screws. A simple butt joint also will work. The glue does most of the work while the screw acts as clamp until the glue dries. You can see how the wood is warped. I added these right angle pieces of wood just as additional support. A 2 inch wider piece was added in the middle to give some cross support. After measuring its exact position, I screwed it into place. This is my workshop logo printed in flex. This is super cheap, costing at just Rs 10 per square feet. Here is a time lapse of me stapling the flex to the wood. It's actually a two man job. One has to pull on the opposite side while the other staples it on the other end. But I did that by simply stapling on one end and then by rotating and stapling on the other. Once you get the hang of it, things go pretty fast. I followed this black line to align the design to the frame. Remember to always stretch the material with full strength and then staple. It will iron out the wrinkles. Finally, I flipped it over and stapled the left over to the back side. And here is the simple signboard, which is not backlit. For the backlit signboard, I use this leftover plywood. For the light to disperse inside the box, it has to be minimum 4 inches deep. So that's the size I am resawing them to. Here are the four sides cut. Again, I used pocket screws to join them together. I drilled three pocket holes on each side to attach them together. Once I lay pieces on the table, the assembly becomes easier. The clamp holds the piece together while I can drive the screws in. This might look like a flex print, but it's actually a backlit print and it's a bit costlier. It comes at about Rs 45 per square feet. Because this material is a bit thick, it's tough to stretch it, but I basically followed the same method of stapling. I have fitted all the electronics to the backer board before I screw that into place. Please click on the top right corner or in the description to see what the electronics do. I will explain what these electronics do in a few seconds. To keep the board water sealed, I drove in as many screws as possible. So here is the board. I have used the dusk to dawn idea here. The board is powered by LED strip and a battery, but I have also attached a sensor to Atmega328 chip to check if it's day or night time. So whenever the sun is out, the signboard stays dark and as the sun goes down, the signboard will light up. The whole system is connected to a solar panel so that it charges the battery during the day and works in the night. Please click the link in the description which explains how the electronics work. Also if you have enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps me whenever you share the video. Thank you for watching the video. Until next time, happy learning.